Hey guys, good evening. It's Jager262. I hope you guys enjoyed the Hyder set video from earlier today. Uh, because I didn't really get a consensus on how you wanted me to do these videos, I decided to do just a video per tank for the rest of the day. So it'll be two videos a day. But I wanted to bring you this coverage because it's, again, exactly off the list in the same order we, well, not in the order we saw, but in the pairs that we saw. And so the Panzer 2J, which I really was hoping they would not do, has been put up for sale. It's for 15,000 gold, which is a ridiculously high price, it seems, for a tier 3 vehicle. But trust me, this vehicle is very rare and very powerful. It was moved from the game because it was so overpowered, it actually broke tier 3 matchmaking for a really long time. And as you can see, there are still 1,600 units left. Not a lot of people are going to be buying this vehicle at this price tag, but if you are a collector, if you have a lot of gold and you want something that is truly out of its class, top of the line, you should get this vehicle. It is ridiculously overpowered, and let me show you why really quick. It uses a normal tier 1 2 centimeter KWK38, which only gets about 23 to 46 average penetration, 11 damage, 1500 a minute. That's the thing, is that with those 10 rounds doing about 11 average damage and 23 to 46 penetration is actually quite a bit, and so you will be hitting the 1500 DPM a minute every time, but that's not what makes this tank very special. What makes this tank incredibly special that has 80 millimeters frontal armor in the hull, meaning it is virtually in, well, unkillable until it sees tier fours. Now, again, the reason that this vehicle is back on the market, and I think it might be okay, is that it had preferential matchmaking when it first came out, I meaning it could only see tier threes and lower, so no vehicles could penetrate it frontally, and it could basically shred everything on the battlefield in a very short amount of time. However, now it will be able to see tier four because preferential matchmaking is a thing of the past, and so it might not be so overpowered. However, World of the Tanks and Wargaming are not taking any chances and they're making it worth quite a bit. This is actually 5,000 more gold than the Alpine Tiger was sold for. So if you want one of these monsters, which again, the reason I said the thing about preferential matchmaking is that it might not be a monster anymore, but it certainly will be formidable nonetheless. If you want something that's quite overpowered and quite intense at Tier 3, just to seal club, if you're one of those people, if you're that kind of sadist and you just want to punish new players buy this tank i'm very happy with the hydrostat i'm very happy with the canarv and action x um i hope you guys pick this up if you don't pick it up there should be some great vehicles tomorrow i'll cover more at 8 a.m again sorry for the rush vi videos at night but it's when i usually do stuff with my family so i'm making these videos really quick hopefully you enjoyed this one you'll give it a like if not oh well hopefully you guys will not encounter these on the battlefield unless you purchase one and if you did let me know in the comment section below if you bought it if it was worth it if you already own one what you like about it what you don't love interacting with you and again thank you thank you thank you so much to all my new subscribers since i've been doing these world of tank videos i got about four or five brand new subscribers and i really appreciate all you guys it really helps me continue to make this content and continue to keep this channel running because it really is nice to know that people actually want to see this content so thank you thank you thank you and as always See you next time.